welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome today to a very sad and very emotional video because indeed it has been confirmed that Sergio Aguero will retire from football with immediate effect at the age of 33, bringing to an end a truly unforgettable career. But I think that's all the more reason why today we've got to celebrate that career. We have to give a fitting tribute to what is a true legend of the game. We are going to be going through the big and, like I say, emotional moments from that press conference today at the Camp Nou. And we are also going to be looking back on a career that has spanned nearly 20 years with over 400 goals. He's an icon. He's a reference. And today is all about him. Thank you, Sergio Aguero. Because today for me isn't about saying goodbye here to a Barcelona player. It's not about saying goodbye to our player. Because Aguero for me is everyone's player. It's not just about here one club, one fan base bidding him farewell. This is about the entire footballing world coming together because no matter who you support, no matter which side you come down on, you cannot fail to appreciate and really love what Aguero has brought to the beautiful game. He is a true great. The word legend is thrown around far, far too often, but in this case, legend is a very fitting description for exactly who Kun Aguero is. Because indeed, as Aguero arrived for his farewell press conference at the camp now today, you can see him right here before he did take the microphone and start addressing the public, of course, in the stands. He was extremely emotional. You could see there that he was trying to you know, hold it all back, but it just comes flooding out. You can't stop it. And you can understand him there taking a few moments to really compose himself. Because all of this coming, remember, very, very suddenly. He did not expect to be ending his career now. Yes, of course, we knew that he was 33 and going into his final years, but he expected to have several more seasons under his belt yet, and the likes there of Pep Guardiola were in attendance in the crowd. Xavi, of course, as well, was there along with all of Aguero's Barcelona teammates, and Aguero finally said, I called this press conference today to tell you that I've decided to stop playing professional football. He said, it's a really tough moment for me, but I've had to take this decision because of my health. He said, I want you to know that I've delayed it until now. I've been waiting on this decision because I did everything possible to have some hope that I could continue. But he said, I couldn't. He said, the doctors have told me that it's best to stop playing and my health comes first. He gave special mentions there to every single club and, of course, his country that he'd been at throughout his career, Independiente, Atletico Madrid, Man City, Barcelona, and, of course, indeed, Argentina. Before Aguero then was presented with a montage of that career, indeed, and there were truly unforgettable, magical moments in that career. And he's sitting there today. Of course, he's going to be emotional. Of course, he's going to be very, very sad that it's come to an end. But he will look back on this career and he will be very, very very proud and as will all of the fans who've had the luxury of supporting him at these clubs they will look back on moments that will live long in the memory because indeed if we do take a look throughout that career you can see right there that he started in his native Argentina at Independiente and Aguero actually spoke today about a goal that he remembers at Independiente at 17 years old he said it was the first great goal that I ever scored against Racing 18 goals that he scored in his time there then of course it was a move to La Liga to Atletico Madrid. And I remember watching him many, many times at Atletico Madrid thinking, wow, this is someone very, very special. And everyone wanted him. Absolutely every club in the world wanted to sign Aguero upon leaving Atletico. But he chose there to join Man City and begin, really, their dominance in the Premier League. I remember his debut there coming against Swansea. I remember Aguero coming on about half an hour to go in the game. And everybody was saying, you know, can he replicate what he did in La Liga in the Premier League? Will he be a great for Man City? And within about 10 minutes of that debut, the question was already answered. He scored his first goal there from close range, strikers finished, then he actually set up David Silva for a goal. And after that, that was really when the question was well and truly ended. An absolute thunderbolt it was from long range from Aguero. And that was really a sign of what was to come. A league that he would go on there to dominate both individually and collectively at Man City and break records that truly no one expected to be broken. And that's, of course, even without going on the top talk about that moment, that goal against QPR, Martin Tyler's commentary, Aguero's composure in finish, in the dying moment of the game, to give Man City their first Premier League title, and again that's a goal, that apart from maybe Man United fans, 
every single football follower around the world. What a moment. Goosebumps, even for us. And then, of course, after so many years at Man City, it was time for a new change, a new challenge, and Sergio Aguero arrived at Barcelona. And of course, he wasn't here long, just five games there, just one goal. We're going to talk about the goal in just a moment. But I think even from the presentation of Sergio Aguero, even though he was coming in here towards the latter stages of his career, 33 years old, we were still unbelievably excited and you can see even now even though he hasn't appeared that many times we've still fully fully fallen for this player we were so excited to have him at Barca wearing our shirt I think we felt very proud to have Aguero here which is also why I'm so gutted I think we're all really really sad that we didn't get to see more of him in a Barcelona shirt but he does leave and this is the one consolation that I have he leaves with a Clásico goal. He was only on the field there just 17 minutes against Real Madrid in a game where we were on the back foot. We did not look really like scoring in this game, but Aguero, being Aguero, only needed one chance, one opportunity to stick the ball away and score in yet another historic fixture in his career. And of course as well, we have to talk about Argentina, where Aguero made over 100 appearances, scoring 41 goals. The stage, of course, where he combined with his good friend Lionel Messi. And it was amazing, just like it was for Messi to win Copa America in the summer. It was nice for Sergio Aguero too, to get his hands on that national team trophy and to feel that emotion. And speaking of that trophy cabinet, it is a big one. It is a very, very successful one with Atletico Madrid there. Kun Aguero walks away with the Europa League title and indeed the UEFA Super Cup. But it was with Man City that the trophies really did start to come. And like I say, he was the orchestrator behind that. Five Premier League titles, one FA Cup, six League Cups to his name and three Community Shield titles. And like I say with Argentina, he did go away again with Lionel Messi and won the under 20. World Cup. He also had the Olympic gold medal and won Copper America title. But this is not a player here whose career you can define by goals or by trophies or even statistics. Even though he scored so many goals and broken so many records, this is a man who will be defined by his moments, by those memories and unforgettable strikes. And Aguero, let's not forget, was not just an amazing player, was not just the reference in that centre forward role for as many years as I can remember. He was more than that too, because we are not only saying goodbye today to a wonderful footballer, but a truly amazing person, and that is why we all wish Aguero the very, very best in the next stage of his career and his life. Thank you for representing us, but more importantly, for representing football. Please do, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I know that it is another emotional day here, another press conference that we're all watching, thinking, please, no, don't go. But let me know what your personal memories are of Aguero, what moments you will always hold with you from this special, special player. I will, of course, see you soon with more videos. But for now, appreciate and pay tribute to this great man. Thank you indeed for watching. And for supporting. But until next time, as always, Vishka El Barsa.